Whether you're planning an automation or just trying to document a process at work, flowcharts are an indispensable tool for workflow design. Today, I'm going to share five flowcharting tools that you can use to start mapping your workflows right now. Hi, I'm Tom from X-Ray Tech, the workflow company. At X-Ray, we design and build automations to create more time for our members and their teams. To learn more about X-Ray and our services and products, just go to our website at xray.tech. To see more workflow design and productivity tips every week, like this video and subscribe to our channel, and be sure to turn on those notifications too. In this video, I'm going to give you a rundown of five different apps you can use to create a flowchart, plus one bonus utility when you watch to the end. These apps range from free tools for casual presentations to robust enterprise-grade software and solutions. You can find every app that I mentioned today in this video's X-Ray Workflow Resources Board linked in the description below, so be sure to check that out for more info. I'll begin with a tool we use a lot here at X-Ray, Lucidchart. Lucidchart is a powerful flowcharting app that's great for knowledge workers in any industry. Through its easy to use web app, you can access an extensive library of chart elements. You can stick with Lucidchart's basic shapes for simple flowcharts or use common standards like BPMN for detailed technical diagramming. With BPMN and other specific libraries, you can use different symbols to indicate different events like manual or automated actions, decisions, and much, much more. For instance, you can also use swim lanes to easily group events by app or even team. You can also use notes and comments to provide more information and collaborate with your team right inside Lucidchart. Lucidchart is excellent for mapping out complicated workflows and visualizing data imported from other popular software. With so many features for creating diagrams, it's no surprise that Lucidchart has become a favorite among enterprise users, with 96% of Fortune 500 companies relying on the software. The main downside is really that the free plan is just pretty limited. Let's take a look at the pricing now and see what I mean. With the free plan, you can create three editable documents total and each document is limited to 60 shapes. To document several complicated workflows, you'll definitely need a paid plan. The individual plan starts at $8 per month and gives you access to unlimited documents and unlimited shapes within those documents. You'll also get access to premium templates and other advanced features. The team plan is just a bit pricier at $9 per user per month and adds revision history, as well as integrations with GitHub, Microsoft 365, Jira, and more. Finally, the enterprise plan includes Lucid Spark for whiteboard collaboration and offers several advanced security features alongside a Salesforce integration. Just like most enterprise plans for SaaS tools, no price is listed publicly. You'll have to contact their sales team directly for a quote. To get started with Lucidchart, just go to lucidchart.com. That site, along with every other app I'm covering today, will be found in the resources board linked in the description. While Lucid has two separate apps for flowcharts and collaborative whiteboards, Lucidchart and Lucid Spark, you can get similar functionality in one subscription with Miro. Miro gives you a wide array of tools for mapping out workflows, brainstorming ideas with virtual sticky notes, and collaborating with your team in different ways with lots of amazing templates. Miro also includes an extensive list of integrations with popular software, allowing you to connect with Zoom, Slack, Google Drive, and hundreds of other apps. Some of these integrations let you import your existing data into Miro to instantly create dynamic, editable visualizations. Other integrations focus on letting you use Miro in your other apps, like Slack. The biggest downside for Miro is that specific shape libraries like BPMN aren't accessible on the free or starter plans. You'll need to upgrade to business to access them. However, if you're more interested in creating visual documents with your team and your clients than you are in making specific technical diagrams, you definitely get more value from Miro in the free and starter plans than you would from Lucid. Like Lucidchart's free plan, Miro's free plan limits you to three documents, but there's no shape limit mentioned. Miro's $8 a month starter plan unlocks unlimited documents, easy collaboration with public boards, high resolution exports, interactive features like timers, voting, and video chat, and really a lot more. You also get all of Miro's other features for collaborative whiteboarding and several integrations included without having to pay extra. Miro's business plan gets a bit pricier at $16 per user per month, but this is essentially equivalent to paying for Lucidchart and Lucidspark and gives you a comparable set of features. With business, you can unlock shape libraries like BPMN for technical flowcharts, integrate with Jira, and use advanced security and login features. 
The enterprise plan, which will of course require you to contact their sales team, offers several options for managing your team and keeping your data secure, like two-factor authentication, audit logs, and more. Ultimately, Miro and Lucid offer very similar features in pricing in their higher tiers, but their cheap and free tiers have two different focuses. If you're looking for advanced flowcharts on a budget, you'll want to use Lucidchart. If you're more interested in collaborative whiteboards, but still want some decent flowcharting features, then you'll want to go with Miro. To get started, just go to Miro.com. If you're looking for similar, basic functionality to Lucidchart or Miro, but don't want to add another subscription to your budget, you'll want to check out Draw.io, or more specifically, their free app at diagrams.net. Here, you'll find a simple, no-frills flowchart interface with a huge library of elements for your diagrams. Just like Lucidchart, you can use a set of basic shapes for simple charts or explore more common frameworks like BPMN to make more precise technical documents. Unlike Lucidchart, you can use this tool for free without any hard restrictions. There are no set limits to the number of documents you can create or to the number of shapes you can add to each document. Ultimately, Diagrams.net is just a tool to create simple flowcharts. There's no home screen where you can view all your flowcharts or manage your team, create folders, or anything like that. Instead, every document you create will just be saved in your own cloud storage, like Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive. There are also no integrations with other popular apps in the free version of the tool apart from cloud storage, so you can't easily use data from other software to create flowcharts here. But the software itself gives you a robust and varied set of options for creating any flowchart you want without costing a cent. It's a great choice for individuals or small teams looking to make detailed diagrams for free. If you're interested in an integrated enterprise solution, paid plans for Draw.io offer integrations with Atlassian software, like Jira and Confluence. They don't describe an exact pricing breakdown, but offer a few examples, like a $20 a month plan for up to 20 users. To get started with the free version, just go to diagrams.net. To learn more about the integrated enterprise plans, check out Draw.io. It is the same product, just two different names. Next, let's take a look at a new tool that offers a lot of potential for Zapier power users. Recently, Zapier's Canvas feature moved into an open beta. Canvas is a flowchart tool built directly into Zapier. While it doesn't offer the same variety of elements and shapes that Lucidchart and Draw.io do, it does integrate neatly into your Zaps, as you might expect from a native Zapier tool. You can add basic shapes to document steps and branching paths in a process, but you can also add references to any of your Zaps. Not only will you see the name of the zap, but you'll also see every step in the referenced automation. You can also include references to any table or interface you've built inside of Zapier. However, for now, these are essentially just links that take you directly to the table or interface when you click on them. Since it's still in beta, there's a lot of room for Zapier Canvas to grow. But if you're already automating your team's work with several zaps, Canvas could be a great way to keep everything documented right where you're already working. Of course, if you're not already a Zapier user, then Canvas probably won't have much to offer for you. Canvas is currently free for anyone with a Zapier account, though I'd imagine that might change once it's no longer in beta. At that point, it will probably require an additional monthly charge on top of your Zapier subscription, just like the chatbot and tables features. But if you'd like to try it out today at no cost, just open up Zapier and find Canvas in the left-hand menu. The apps we've covered so far are primarily focused on technical use cases. They're well suited for designing sophisticated workflows or documenting your automations, but they lack a certain aesthetic flair. If you want to create more visually engaging flowcharts and diagrams for your presentations, you'll probably want to check out Canva. Canva is a multi-purpose, user-friendly design app. You can use Canva to design just about any asset you might need. A slideshow, a social media ad, a one-pager for your company, and of course, a flowchart. It even includes a library of stock photos and graphics that you can use to flesh out any design. However, the options for flowchart elements and shapes are very limited. You'll see rectangles for steps and diamonds for branching decisions, but it doesn't seem like you can access anything like the full BPMN library on the free plan. Canva also doesn't have the same range of enterprise integrations that you'll get with Miro or Lucidchart. However, the generous and versatile free plan makes it well worth your time to check out Canva to see what it has to offer. Canva's free plan grants you access to their flexible design editor and lets you use over a million pre-made templates to get started. 
It also includes five gigabytes of cloud storage and offers a library of stock photos and graphics, unique among the tools we talk about today. For $120 a year, Canva Pro unlocks additional premium templates, one terabyte of cloud storage, and adds stock video and stock audio to the library. Canva Team costs $120 per user per year and adds collaboration features and advanced security on top of everything included in Canva Pro. They also offer an enterprise plan, though they're not very specific about what this plan includes. To get details and a quote, you'll have to contact their sales team. If you're just looking for an app to make detailed flowcharts and nothing else, Canva likely won't be a good fit. But if you're looking for a versatile jack of all trades app that accommodates dozens of design use cases, then give Canva a try at canva.com. Finally, onto that bonus that I promised you earlier. It's called Mermaid, and it isn't really a flowchart app, but more of a utility. If you're not a visual thinker and would rather generate a flowchart with some simple markdown, then you might be interested in Mermaid. Mermaid is a versatile tool for creating basic flowcharts using simple syntax. Now, Mermaid does also offer a visual editor with its own subscription plan, but that's not the tool I wanna to talk about today. Instead, I wanna show you how you can use Mermaid diagrams with the apps that you're already using every day, like Notion and ChatGPT. In Notion, you can simply type slash mermaid to create an embedded mermaid diagram in any page. If you're comfortable with mermaid syntax, which you can learn more about in the X-ray workflow resources board linked in the description below, you can write out each step manually to create a chart. But if you'd rather skip all that, you can just ask Notion AI or ChatGPT to write out the markdown for you. Then accept Notion AI's output or paste ChatGPT's answer into Notion to instantly get a diagram. It might not be a perfect representation of your request, but it is usually an excellent starting point that you can edit as needed. To get started with mermaid diagrams like this, try out our custom GPT linked in the resources board. This GPT is designed specifically to help you break down processes and visualize them with a mermaid diagram you can paste into Notion or other free tools like Visual Studio Code. Flowcharts can help you organize your thoughts, plan an automation, or add a little visual flair to a presentation at work. There are a lot of tools out there for the job, and between the six that we covered today, there's something for every use case and budget. Tell us what you think in the comments down below. What do you make flowcharts for? What are your favorite apps for creating charts and diagrams? What other software rundowns would you like to see? We're always looking to help people find tools that fit their workflows and their budgets, so don't be afraid to share your suggestions. If you've enjoyed this video, prove you're human, like and subscribe for more automation tips every single week. If you'd like to learn more about low-code automation and workflow design, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can see all those links in the resources board down below, and as always, find your focus and stay in flow. Trying to future-proof yourself? Start designing the way your team works with no-code tools, automation, and AI. In X-Ray's Workflow Designer course, we'll show you how to break down every part of a process to find the best opportunities for automation, and how to integrate those automations into your team's daily work. You'll learn how to create time for your entire team, get more reliable results, and give everyone a newfound clarity and confidence in their work. Just go to this URL to learn more. The entire package includes over two hours of premium video content, challenging example projects, and tons of helpful resources. The course costs just $250 and gives you lifetime access to a Slack community of workflow designers building systems in dozens of different industries. Space is limited, so join the free waiting list today to get notified as soon as the course is live later this year. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you soon in our workflow designer course.